about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. I am getting myself in a good mind frame, mindset. We're gonna have good vibes today. Good vibes today, one of my nails is coming off. Um, I'm a little bit sore today, but it's not in my arms. And I used the heaviest weights I have, which are five pounds, which I don't think I need to go over that especially the ones where I lift up because of my shoulder. But um, my legs are a little bit sore today and I think it's because of the extra long like bike ride I did yesterday. But anyhow, yeah, feeling good. I think today is abs. We're gonna do standing abs. So I think I'm gonna try to do 30 minutes because I feel like when you're doing standing abs, although I'll tell you the standing abs, I had actually several people comment that they enjoy those the most and they do give you a really good workout. Like I feel it and it's just the way the way you move. And I have several that are like 10 minutes long, but I think I have a couple longer ones. So I'm gonna try to do 30 minutes of the abs today. And then we'll do our bike and yeah. So you guys going really good. Tomorrow is my rest day, except for I'll still do my bike ride. Um, but as far as from strength training, Thursday's my rest day and then Friday's like a full body and we'll see what we end up doing for that. But um, feeling very accomplished. I need to get gas. I think we can make it till um, this weekend though. Anywho, heading off to work. I do have my protein coffee and you saw same breakfast as yesterday. Um, it just really satisfied me. But I did bring some veggies and the tzatziki sauce and um, did I bring some? Nope, I just have my hot boiled eggs. Yeah, that breakfast really satisfied me, but I'll bring the veggies, I think, for to, for later on in the afternoon because I noticed yesterday I started getting a little bit hungry in the afternoon. But anyway, hope you guys are having a fabulous day while you're watching this, and I'll check in at lunchtime. I found a recipe on the WW app for like Greek layered dip. So first we're gonna do a layer of tzatziki sauce, some red onion, some roasted bell pepper, some hummus, chopped cucumbers, so I'll just take some of the cucumbers, chop them up, chopped tomatoes, some Kalamata olives, cilantro, and feta. I'm just gonna layer it all. This is a one serving that I'll be showing you. So it's two tablespoons of the tzatziki, or eighth of a cup. Is that two tablespoons? I think that is two tablespoons. And then you're gonna do two tablespoons of the hummus as well, and a tablespoon of the feta. Yeah, that's it. Oh, and then just do a few little halves of that and chopped up. To dip in my dip, I'm going to do one of these lavash breads, which are um, two points for the entire bread. So I'm gonna spray this with some of the avocado spray, put a little bit of salt on there, put them in my air fryer, and they'll get all nice and crispy. Here is my final dip. There's all the layers. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna put a veggie sandwich with this to be my lunch and I'll show you everything when it's all done. So my little chips cooked a little bit uneven. I had to put something on top of them to stop them from flying all over the place. And so that's why you'll see some of those. But anyway, here's my sandwich. Same as the other day, I have hummus on one tablespoon on each slice of bread. This is just some whole wheat bread, lots of veggies shoved in there. And then my hummus or my Greek layer dip, which we'll go try that here right now. And I'll let you know how it tastes. Guys, okay, let's give this a little try. Oh, it's so hot today. And actually for once, it's not too bad in my office. I closed the door to my little area and it's not too bad. So I brought a sweater just in case, but it hasn't been too bad. Okay, let's see if we can get like all the layers in this one bite. Well, we'll see. Let me get a really crispy chip. Okay. I don't know if I can get all the layers. Oh, everything but the tzatziki sauce. Mmm. That's really good. I don't know how many points it is, but I tell you, the hummus is one point. I feel like the tzatziki sauce is one or two points. 
and then it was only one tablespoon of feta and since I only have the fat free kind I don't think that's any points and I only did four of the olive halves and just chopped them up so I don't think those are any points either so I think it's pretty <clears throat> pretty good points and you know you could dip vegetables in this too but I think um doing some sort of chip or something is the best but this is really good that hummus is really spicy though and so I think it's gonna be a lot of hummus with my sandwich and with this I probably should have gotten or it's a plain hummus but when I <clears throat> I actually didn't see this recipe until after I did shopping and stuff like that so anyway it's been a pretty good day um I feel like I'm getting a lot of stuff done at work I'm feeling pretty accomplished <clears throat> um with even everything I told you guys I was weighing every day since Monday <clears throat> um I don't I did not record my weight on Friday I cannot believe I didn't do that that's I recorded into my WW app and I completely forgot but I kind of know I think where I was which is about the same on Monday by the time I got through the weekend but even since Monday I'm down 1.6 now by Friday that could change who knows because like I said I'm gonna do my ab workout today and just depending on what I eat and whatnot it may fluctuate a little bit but I was a little you know I think I've had a lot of comments and stuff saying you know that people are real nervous about adding so many whole grains into their diet because it's so many carbs but you have to remember that the grains that I'm adding are like the brown rice and the carbohydrates and stuff and I think because I'm doing this more activity that the way it's burning through my body it doesn't obviously seem to be affecting anything so it seems to be going really well um, last night <clears throat> I was doing more research because I when I was doing the research for that video of weight loss over 40 within a lot of that same research there was a lot of information about foods that you can eat to make you to make you young again but you know not like the gimmicky stuff like oh take these pills and you'll be you know you'll be young again or whatever um, this is just this was a lot of just foods that you should eat that affect your body in different ways and not only like with like weight loss but I mean like heart health vision brain health all those kind of things and so I thought about if you guys are interested in that doing a video and having it go up on Saturday and then just kind of having this series of health talks where I mean and they're not going to be all the time just whenever I come across like some sort of topic that's interesting to me so um, but I thought I would do that I thought I would kind of go through these lists of things and just kind of organize it by like what's good for your heart what's good for your for brain health for your vision for your body in general or whatever but I thought it'd be really interesting to do that because it kind of goes along with the weight loss over 40 so now that we're all around that age not everybody but those of us that are are um, these are some foods that can keep us feeling young again so anyway that's my next little topic I think I'm gonna do um, but now I'm gonna eat my lunch because I am starving today I did not quite eat all my um, I ate like one and a half of my hard boiled eggs and then I only got through about three quarters of my oatmeal because I had a, <clears throat> I had so many phone calls and stuff coming in that I just finally just like okay I'm done I'm just gonna push it aside so today I was actually pretty hungry at lunchtime when I had the oatmeal yesterday and the eggs and stuff yesterday I was perfectly fine but I am so satisfied with that oatmeal like I feel like that my breakfast from now on is gonna be oatmeal like I think that's what I'm gonna do most of the time and because it's just it's so good and then just have like the yogurt for a snack or something like that just get some extra protein in and because I really do like yogurt that I want to you know get some of that stuff in but I'm gonna turn on a show or read a book or something I'm reading a really good book oh it reminds me I should tell you the book that I'm reading let me let me find the name okay so the book I'm reading is called The Night Swim by Megan Golden G-O-L-D-I-N it is so good um, I, I think I told you guys I wasn't gonna do a book review video for July because I I only finished two books but I, had to, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to read for this month because like I said we're so busy at work and we'll just kind of see how exhausted I am with between doing the workouts and work and working late and that kind of thing but I have this book and then I have the next one I'm gonna read I tell you I also found it on Kindle Unlimited it's called The Ghost Rider by A.R. Tori, which I've read um, others of her books, one or two of her books already. 
and I knew that I, I really enjoyed them. So I'm gonna read that next after I finish The Night Swim. So check out The Night Swim, it is really good. It's, um, what I really like about it is like a podcast. So this girl has a podcast and she does true crime podcasts, which are my jam, like that's all I really listen to. And so she listens to the, she writes this podcast and does this podcast. So it's like some of the chapters are her podcast and some of the chapters are her researching for the podcast. So it's really good. So definitely check out that book. Okay, today's ab workout is going to be this 30 minute cardio abs. It's knee friendly, no jumping. I will have a link down below. Hey guys, full transparency. Um, on that 34 minute video, I only completed four rounds of exercises. I completed three of the four. Um, so I finished like 24 minutes of it. So each round must be, there was like a warm up and a cool down too. So I didn't make it quite through a whole entire video, but I wanna be completely upfront and honest with you guys, because if you're trying to do the same thing I am and adding in any strength training or these kind of workout videos, I don't want you to feel like, oh, look how easy it was for her. She's just doing every single video every day. No, I'm not. So if I don't complete one, I'm gonna let you guys know. If I don't do an extra workout that I planned, I'll let, let you guys know. I want you to know that I'm human and I, this is not something I can jump into easily. It's a struggle for me and it's gonna end up taking me a while to actually get used to it. So I just wanna be totally transparent and upfront with you guys. I am on my bike. I'm gonna aim for 30 minutes. I will show you what I ended up actually doing. Um, my goal is 20 minutes a day, so Anyway, I think that's what I said. I don't even know. One day a week, I want to do 45 minutes, but I think on these days, I said 20 to 30 minutes. But anyhow, I will show you what I end up doing. Okay, made it 30 minutes. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. guys a happy thursday as you can tell i did not close out the vlog yesterday so i'm just continuing it on today um i did not have dinner last night i was just not feeling hungry at all and just nothing sounded good i don't know it's just one of those days so i ended up actually just taking a shower washing my hair just i was so like sweaty from that workout and just wanted to kind of unwind. By the time I did all that, I just kind of laid down, was reading a little bit and just nothing really sounded good. So what I ended up having was like a slice of whole wheat toast with some um, peanut butter on it. I had some PB2 and that was it. Like that's all that just kind of, cause I just started feeling a little bit hungry, but just not super hungry. So that's what I had. And then this morning you saw I've had my oatmeal. I've had a little bit of coffee. I'm getting ready to make my protein coffee, um, but I want to drink my water first and get some water in because I'm feeling like I'm a little bit dehydrated today I feel like um but yeah it's about 11:40 right now so I need to start thinking about lunch although the oatmeal I only ate I don't know I have like this much left and I made it about nine so I'm thinking my lunch will be a little bit late today so um so yeah I'll just um whatever I end up with whatever I end up making that veggie sandwich lately has been so good and like that dip yesterday was absolutely amazing it was amazing like I will definitely be making that several times like I may even like meal prep a batch of it like do like three of them or something um this next week and then um have a few of them because it was really good so anywho I'll check in with you guys at lunchtime a little update on my Etsy shirt. So I told you guys that it, um, I had ordered it on the 28th of July. And um, this poor little shirt, the route that it has had, <laughs> um, the one other one that I showed you guys um, on, I think in Tuesday's video, yeah. Um, it, it was shipped the same, I ordered the same day on the 28th and then, um, well the shipping label was created on the same day that I ordered it. 
and then it was actually shipped on the 29th and I got that one like on Saturday so it literally got here in like two days it was super quick and it was coming from Texas I believe and this one started off in Georgia so she created this shipping label as soon as I <clears throat> ordered it and then actually it was accepted at <clears throat> that same like the next night accepted at the um, post office in Georgia in a place in Georgia that it made it to the Atlanta distribution center like the next that same night like an hour and a half later and then it departed that same distribution center like at an early in the morning arrived at some post office another post office in Georgia it departed that same post office arrived at a different post office in Georgia and then arrived at a distribution center in Massachusetts, MA, Purchase, Massachusetts. I think I did that before. Departed that Massachusetts distribution center the same day on the 31st. Arrived at New Hampshire distribution center that same night, like at 5.40 p.m. or something. It departed the New Hampshire one that night and arrived back at the Massachusetts one the next day. Departed the Massachusetts one again, and then it just says US and ended up in Portland. So I'm thinking maybe it might have been like an air travel or something. I don't know because then it arrived in Portland and then it just took a, it arrived in Portland, went to another distribution center, arrived at one distribution center in Eugene, went to another one, went to another one, finally departed and it said out for delivery yesterday. Well, I don't live in Eugene and we're like, you know, about an hour and a half or so away from there. And it was like 450 something and it said, uh, 453 and it said out for delivery. But really it went to another distribution center and then, so it arrived at another one at 1246 AM, departed that one at 356 AM this morning and arrived at the post office where I live at 515 this morning and now it's saying out for delivery at six o'clock this morning. So <laughs> that poor little t-shirt, seriously like crazy. I don't know. I don't know how the post office system works. I'm guessing when that one left Massachusetts and went to New Hampshire, it probably got on the wrong truck and they're like, uh oh, nope, this isn't the right one. And then it got sent back or something. I don't know. Very weird. I know. But anyway, I think all these things are scans. So I think that's why they all have like an odd time. I think they're like all scanned in at those times. So something happened with this portal thing, but I'm supposed to get it today. So if I get it sometime today before I end this video, I'll show it to you. But more than likely, it will not, so I'll have to show it to you guys next week. But anyway, yeah, I'll see you guys at lunchtime. Having a pretty late lunch, it's like 2.30. So I have some olives, some spring mix, avocado, some of the grilled chicken, sunflower seeds. I have some cannellini beans in there. And that is it. Okay, so I just got done with my 30 minute bike ride. Today was a break day from strength training, so yay. I definitely needed it. I've had a, like, a bad headache all day today. I think it's related to my cycle because I'm supposed to start my period tomorrow or the next day, something like that. Um, I know it was sometime this weekend. So I've been feeling a little like, you know, just those feelings that you get. But my headache is just like, no matter what I take, it's just so bad right now. And I know this time it's not like stress related because everything's been fine. I'm feeling pretty good today. And I even feel like with the working out all week, I've been so focused on that, that I really haven't let things like really get to me. And so I haven't really felt really stressed. So have to give that. And you know, I did read a lot about how working out and exercise can actually kind of lower that stress hormone. So I really think that that is true because I'm really kind of feeling that this week. Um, but it also has taken a toll on me as far as my sleeping patterns. So I have been exhausted by 10 o'clock, which has kind of put a like kind of a wrinkle in my reading time because typically I would go to bed by like 9 45, 10 o'clock and read until about 10 30. But when I'm getting to bed, I've been like wanting to go to sleep. I like I'll open my book, start to read a little bit and like 10 minutes in, I'm like, okay, I cannot, I can't read anymore. So definitely taking a little toll on me with that. And I've been waking up late. Like there has been, it's, it's just, I've never pushed my snooze this many times. Now this all could be related PMS related too, because y'all know when we get that, you know, when it's. You get all that stuff sometimes it just makes you kind of tired and so it could be you know because 
it's just a coincidence that you know all this is going on at the same time so we'll see how it is and plus i think my body just needs to get used to it so we'll see how next week goes but those are my kind of initial thoughts right now is i'm definitely feeling a little bit more tired but i am putting more stress on my body you know at being more active um other things like i said i think the positive sides definitely the stress thing i'm feeling accomplished um there was one other thing i was going to bring up I'm not as hungry, so it, it's weird because you would think if I'm working out, I would be hungrier, but I think it's just because I'm so tired that the thought of actually making anything to eat, I just don't want to, but I'm not feeling hungry. Like right now, not feeling hungry, but that's probably because I had such a late lunch. So we'll see, but like yesterday, I really had no interest in eating dinner. Um, so I just really like to listen to my body, but I still had quite a few calories yesterday because that lunch, so maybe that's why. So as you saw, um, on the previous clip with my lunch, I think my lunch was 500 and something calories, something like that, maybe more. And so that could be why I did not want dinner last night because my body had enough calories. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. The total at the end of the video is the total with the peanut butter toast I had <laughs> last night as well. And I did have a banana as well. I forgot to tell you guys that. So with my total, like for the day, um, is everything is everything that i had so you'll see i had quite a few calories so i actually did not do that bad but um so i guess it was just enough for my body and like right now i have no interest in food but again i didn't have my lunch until like what was it like 2 30 and it's only six o'clock right now so um so yeah that's probably why so we'll see it is um when i do have anything i'll pop it up here on the screen if i don't have anything which i can't Imagine I wouldn't have something. I don't know. I may just, if anything, just have a protein coffee. We'll just see how it goes. Um, but I will have everything here at the end of the screen. I'll show you everything I have, but everything's going pretty good. I feel pretty good. Um, I did weigh in again today and I was the same as yesterday. Um, so it was like up 0.2 from where I was like all week. Um, and so that still puts me like one, I want to say 1.4 down. Um, so we'll see how we are tomorrow and I'll give you a full like update on everything on Monday, how I did through the weekend, how, um, if I still met all my goals and all of that. So I'll give you guys all an update on that next week though. Just a little like preview of next week. It's going to be kind of a weird week for me, especially as far as like my food and my meals, because I have a lot going on and so I don't I'm not sure how I'm going to tackle it all I'm going to kind of make a game plan this weekend and then on Monday I'll kind of let you know my plan and you know for busy weeks when you don't really get like a full like lunch and how I'm going to kind of battle that so I'll give you a little update on that when I kind of figure it all out this weekend and now I'm going to sit down work on editing this video work on my meal plan work on my grocery list and then figure out if I'm gonna have dinner or not. So um, if I do, it'll be next. If I don't, then I will see you guys on Monday. Bye guys. Okay, so I'm gonna pop up dinner um, up here, what I ended up having, which was, um, I totally forgot, guys, I'm so tired. <laughs> um, like a Mediterranean style, like scrambled eggs, but kind of like on toast. So I um, toasted up a slice of my whole wheat bread added on um some avocado and then i did like an egg scramble with some roasted red peppers the caramel of olives and the um feta cheese and i put some green onions as well and just kind of scrambled all that up put on that toast and the avocado and that was my dinner and it was perfection so highly recommend something like that um probably could have threw some artichoke hearts in there but i didn't want to open up the whole jar of artichoke hearts because i honestly forgot that I had them and I was going to kind of put them with my dinners and my lunches all week completely forgot so I didn't want to open up the jar and then I'm just gonna wait till next week and then do something with those so anyway this is really goodbye I'll put up my final like count for the meals for today and I'll talk to you guys in the next video bye guys mm -hmm.